Welcome guys, welcome. Welcome to the series of learning AI agent creation specially for QA by using the Google ADA. In the previous video, if you remember right, I have specially created and given you installation. Learning AI agent is very important for all of you. It does not matter if you are a manual tester, automation tester or anywhere, right? If you are planning that, okay, I have to create an AI agent from scratch, the easiest way to create is by using a already built up framework like Google ADA. So Google ADA is nothing but a agent development kit. Sir, is it difficult to learn the answer is it is absolutely easy it is one of the easiest way to create the agents that we are personally using right we will be using the python language in this case but you can also use google or even use a uh, go language i'm sorry and even the java language also whichever you are comfortable right but i'm going to give you the concept in a very simple language syntax i will try to explain you each and every one today what we are going to do i will explain you what exactly is this test plan agent that we are going to create please remember there is a difference between whenever you ask to create a test plan to a chat GPT, which is this. He create a test plan. For example, if I ask, by the way, I'm going to use audio to text, create a test plan for app.bw.com for login and dashboard page. This is not a agent we are talking about. This is just a instruction. This is just a generative instruction that we have done. Here we are creating a real agent. Agents can basically think, they can basically act and they can observe. The thing that we are going to create today also, which is a test plan creator. We are going to basically tell him to create the test plan in a particular format what exactly it can do it looks like a generative ai but trust me we are using google agent in the third part where i will teach you the multi-agent system in that where you will learn that how these agents basically communicate with each other which means one agent is creating a test plan after that it will pass to test creator test creator will create a test case then another one which basically you can run your test case playwright scripts and third one which can generate your reports so when we are going with advanced this is exactly which is happening right now nowadays and guys you have to learn all these things just follow along with me i will try to explain you each and every concept very simple way so if you have not watched the first video make sure that you watch it the creation of a mock interview platform by using the google adk simplest way to do that right now that this is a part two for that series if you haven't watched it please watch it that, that now and if you need all the resources all the things and everything make sure you give a like and subscribe and type agent in the chat so that i will give you all the resources on this okay so the first thing first make sure if you are working with google or uh, which is agent development kit what you need to do is you need to install the this one right so make sure that you have installed python so just go to python download i'm just giving you last time also i've given this section make sure to download it and then you need to install the uh, pip install google adk you can also install pycharm also cyberside which is very easy uh, if you are using it for your perspective it, it will give you a 30 days of pro access so you access after that it will become a community edition automatically but today exactly what we are doing we are doing something important because in the STLC lifecycle, what we need to do is we need to create a test plan like this, which I have already created by using the chat GPT. Now the question will be, sir, why we are not using chat GPT and why we are creating an agent? The interesting answer to this question is, everyone, please remember, many companies are not directly allowing you to use chat GPT, Gemini or even Glaude. What you are, they are using is they are using certain local LLM private LLMs or they are only allowing you to access through the agent's perspective. Right now in TechCon also in Browsec also, which I know personally, people, you can create the agent by using the Amazon Bedrock or suppose any type of LLM that you want to use. For example, we are using Mistral. We are using Code Lamba. These are private or you can say open source LLM, which basically we are using. And I'm going to show you how by using Olama, you can also use it right now. But right, we will right now for this demo, we will go to use the Google Gemini as a simple one. Okay. So what, what is the first thing that we need? Okay. Of course, demo point of view, we, we need to do it later, right? The last part, it will be a last part demo directly. So what exactly we are learning? We need to understand today how it can be done. Let me create an agent in front of you again so that you will know the example. Okay. So we'll create a test plan example in this case. Okay. So the first thing first, we'll make sure that we have downloaded the pattern. So we'll open the item again. And uh, in this one, uh, we will basically make sure that we have downloaded. Last time also we have already downloaded. So just I will run this command again so that you will have a interesting thing, which, which is this one. Okay. Which is, it is already installed. So it will not give you any issue in this case. Okay. That's one. That is the first thing that you need to make sure. Second thing you need to do is, uh, this is where if you go to the getting started right option which is creating your first agent right after that you need to use this command which is adk create agent the most important thing is adk create agent right let me do one thing let me uh, create a eraser link also which is nothing but uh, let me create uh, into the tta directory so that all of you will be able to follow this okay so let's see if i have it or not this one let me use this one which is uh, uh this thing which is 
uh, notes. I will share with you guys this notes. Okay, this is again the link which is AI agents and everything that we are building. Okay, so the first command that we have discussed is used is pip install this. Okay, so this is the first command that we have used. So this is the command. Okay, second command which I am going to use is this one, everyone, which is again to create the first agent. This is the agent which is ADK create my agent. Right, this is just to create an agent to create the project. This is your project. Basically, to create a project by using this. So this this is the command that we are using for this. Okay. So let me make this as uh, like this, like this. Okay. Create ADK create agent. So I'm gonna come uh, use the command which is ADK create, and this is gonna be our test plan agent. So I will name this as test planner dot AI. Okay. Test planner AI underscore agent. The underscore agent is fine. I mean you can use it whatever you want to. Name can be anything. Everyone, please remember name can be anything. It does not mean that okay you have to use that name name or something. No, there is no ADK create in this case now it is asking me that okay which model which brain you want to use especially the first thing a ai agent is it can think so it requires a llm access we are going to go with gemini because we are already using and change the model if you want to change it to vortex ai or google ai which ai you want to use i will use the google ai uh, what is your api key because if you want to use the api key you have to navigate to this one part okay this one which is you have to get the kpi key also so you can you can create a free account uh, go to ai dot this directly i already have a key which has created uh, you just need to create or make sure that you click this button right i have already created it so this is the api key that i already have i don't use my key it does not make sense to you okay so let me put the key here i right click and paste so this is the key oh, oh. keys are not copied is it let me check Okay, now it is copy. So now, if you see, it has created a project which is test planner. See, it has created a env file. It has created a agent.py and a init file. Init file we can ignore because it is a just a normal file that we have. Agent.py. This is exactly what it has created. So what I'm going to do is I will open this project into my PyCharm. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on File, Open. I'm I have opened the PyCharm by the way, by the way. And here in the document section in the POC Kegel. I will see that test planner.ai is there. I will just open this as a new window. I will trust this project into this window. It will open it. Okay. So this is the file which it has created. Everyone now. It is telling me that invalid selector. No worries. I will just create a Python 3.0. I'll just give this. Now it will ask me that, okay, uh, all the things are done. Yes, everything is done. Now, this is an agent which is already created by this, right? But let's understand the, please don't go right now. This is not boring. I'm going to explain each and every line what is going on. Okay. So first of all, from the library of agents we are basically importing something called as agent this is a agent that we have basically got it now this requires which model you are going to use so we are going to use google gemini here you can also use your local llm also okay what is the name of this agent name of the agent is root agent okay what is the description of this agent the agent is a helpful assistant for user questions right so i'm going to change this i will say that a helpful assistant for test plan creation so test plan creation is something i will change so by the way i'm using audio to text i'm using a website Website called as uh, with aqua if somebody wants to check it guys it's an amazing uh, startup with aqua.com it's a, a go, uh, it's a page so what you can do is you can convert your audio to text okay which is interesting uh instruction what is the instruction of this agent right is it answer your user question based of your knowledge right here we don't want this we want something important what do we want we want a proper test plan creation. So what I'm going to do, I am pretty much sure all of you have watched my tutorial on the generative AI. If you haven't watched it, uh, please go to the uh, playlist section. Here is the first video around this. So guys, uh, make sure that you go to the playlist section. Let me go to the playlist section and just click on this below section. From the playlist section, you will find the first no, replace first your... In the first video, I have explained about the prompting, everyone. How exactly prompting works. What exactly is a prompting and everything, right? I'm going to give you a prompting uh, white paper paper also i'm pretty much sure i have access to that prompting white paper somewhere okay we don't have but i will share with you also so what we need is we are going with this prompt actually which is act as a software tester for 20 years of this analyze the requirement and based on that you just need to give me the environment right but no we are going to use this prompt which is create a test plan for a ab testing platform use this template for this and this is exactly the template that we wanted okay what i'm going to do is uh, i just need to convert this into a proper line so what i will say that uh, convert this prompt okay prompt into into a simple one liner with escape sequence with escape character okay with no escape characters why because if escape characters then instruction so the content will basically will be gone 
Okay. So now it will create everything at all. So create a test plan for the whatever user has asked. Whatever user has asked. Okay. Now the interesting thing is, okay. So this is, this will now convert into a one, one line. Okay. So this is a one line. This is just to copy paste everyone. Nothing fancy in this case. <laughs> it has not given me full. Okay. Let me see. Try again. Huh. Very strange. <laughs> let me see what, what is happening. I think it is, it is, oh, not even using it. Let me check. Now, uh, can we give directly to this instruction? Let me see. If you try to give it right, it will give you issues because lot of escapism and escape characters and everything you need to do. So please convert this to a single line and so that we can put them in single line. Please convert this into a single line and remove. I would just say remove the extra character value. Remove the uh, remove the escape characters or special characters why we are doing this because see the interesting thing is because if you start giving right it will start giving you error because python works in a simple way where you if you use some extra things and everything right for example this statement is broken i'll tell you where it is basically broken till here it is green right where it is broken after that it is broken i'll tell you where it is broken okay everyone so green 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 here it is broken because of some character i'll tell you which character this character has broke it so ideally you should you ideally you should use double so this has broke this okay so i i think we have fixed it okay so it should not have a single character that's it i think now it is done already so we don't have to go to the that one so we are done okay now how do i run it the interesting question is the how do i run it okay the first thing is make sure that uh, you are out of this okay so make sure that you are out of it now you can run the command which is basically if you want to see your agent you want to interact with your agent right the command is adk okay adk web with the port number hyphen hyphen port number 8 thousand eight thousand is the keyword or any port number that you want to give okay now please remember this is the first agent that we have created it's a simple agent and as you can see here is the link for your application which is running so i'm going to open this link here and voila you have your agents which is ready now here you can select the agent testplanner.ai Okay, which is basically which one we are going to use. So I would just say hi. Now it is going to use my Google Gmail. It is saying that I am here to help you to create a test plan. How many is this to video, right? So I'm going to tell him that, okay, create a test plan. Create a test plan. I'm going to audio to video, I think it will use. Okay, so audio to text, sorry, I'm about. Create a test plan for the app.vw.com for login page and dashboard page. Make sure that you include all the templatized which we have basically used and make sure that you use and add the more detailed test plan that we generally use. Okay. So it's going to use that thing. The interesting thing is, apart from this, you can also add a screenshots. If you want, you can also add a screenshot also for the context. Right. Okay. So suppose this is the uh, test. This is basically the login page that we have. I'm going to take a screenshot. For example, let's take a screenshot just for references. I mean, guys, this is very interesting that uh, we can take a screenshot, right? Create a screenshot and everything and give it to our agent. Right, we can give to this agent. Think uh, here, you can basically take a screenshot. I have not saved it, guys. Sorry for that. Take a screenshot and I'm going to save this. Save as. Save as in the download. I'm going to save this. And here, I'm going to use this. Okay, so I will upload the up as the file also. Okay, attached. Uh, so here, I'm going to mention. Here is the attached login page. Okay, here is the attached login page that we have. And hit enter. Now, you will see an interesting thing, which is it is now. And, and you can see each and everything also, guys. What is the event? Which is a, this is the conversation that we have sent. Model that we are using is 2.5. So this agent is going to work. It has basically going that, okay, this is a text-based query that is there. This is the invocation ID. It is going to use a root agent and this is the text which is it has sent to the LLM. Now it is going to make the request. So by the way, this is a root agent which basically going to make a request. So it has basically converted, convert this prompt into a single liner, blah, 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 right? All the things and everything which is there, right? Here it is configuration and everything which has given. And here is the response it will get. Okay, so it is basically giving you reports and everything also. Now you can see the beautiful output out of it, everyone. So let me close this. Let me close this panel. And here is exactly what we needed. What is the objective for this? Scope. What is included? What is not included? Test environments. Defect reporting. Test strategy. And step-by-step -step best practices. Test schedule. Deliverably. Exit entry criteria. Tools. Risk mitigation. And even the approval dates and everything. Isn't it amazing? I see. This is more advanced. This is, I know. This is a simple agent which can basically give you right now result. It is thinking about it, acting it and now observing it. Now, the interesting thing is that now this agent can think and reevaluate also. So which means 
the interesting thing is right now it looks like a, another chat gpt where we have created no trust me <laughs> i know i know many people will have this question ki sir we have created another chat gpt no guys the interesting thing is now afterwards you can create something called as multiple workflows and multi agent system also which means you can have a agents which will talk to each other you can have a agent which will create a test plan you can have a agent which create a test cases they will talk to each other and third they will basically create test cases automatically can you imagine which we are going to learn in the upcoming tutorial by the way in the next video or something multi agent system which is a video 3 where i will be showing you how to create this thing we have we have a test plan agent which will give data to test case based on the test plan the test case will be created or based on the requirement test plan will be created and the test case will be created so multi agent they will talk to each other also that is also can be done and you will have a beautiful by the way you have a beautiful running uh, web ui also that you can basically use it directly okay so i hope this video helps this is a working agent please remember this syntax also to create an agent because everyone please remember the most important thing every agent that you see so now consider this as a sticky as a agent okay a, a agent can basically think agent can basically act and agent can basically observe please remember this is the three things that you need to remember which is tau okay it can think from the brain so if this is the brain is called as llm that you guys are wanted okay hands are the tools so every agent will have a tools and it also has a legs legs which means orchestration right orchestration basically means it can deploy itself and can return and can do something so agents is nothing but a small person you can say that which can think act and observe the most important thing that you need to remember as a ai agent i hope you are liking this much of information everyone couple of people will say ki sir uh, i don't know java i don't know python and everything guys there is there is nothing to learn here it is just a direct adk or a development kit that we are using and trust me the syntax is very easy your main work is how you good you are with the prompt engineering that is the most main thing that you need to remember let me tell you something guys people are charging 50000 rupees for this information which is creating a agent from a Google ADK or Lang Chain come on free of cost like and subscribe i'll see you in the third video if you need all the resources make sure that you check it out and uh, type in the command agents if you are liking this session till now please make sure that you give a like it's a humble request part 3 where we will be creating a multi agent system which will create your test plan test case and probably will also create a playwright test cases also cyber say thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye enjoy